Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich. You know, over recent years, one of the common words in the NHL has been parity. A lot of teams close together. And boy, if you can put together an impressive streak, you're doing something. And that comes with confidence, Doc. When you can put a number of games together and win them all, you go into a building, you know you can win, and you can beat any team in the league. Pittsburgh's coming into this game with a lot of confidence. As a player, you know and feel you're going to find a way to keep this streak alive. Let's look at the starting netminders. Murray's gotten the call to the goal crease for the Penguins. Notice the save percentage is less than is normal, but with every game a new beginning and a chance to improve. Johnson's the man at the other end of the ice for the Flames. He has a shutout this year. Maybe he'll add to that total tonight. Opening faceoff is just seconds away. Crosby sent to the big center ice circle for the Penguins. Monahan's there for Calgary. Shoots. Score! Didn't take long for the home team, did it? Shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. Johnson's not able to get his glove on that. It beats him low to the glove side. Hagelin's goal has gotten his team ahead. Boy, you could just feel the energy in this building right now after that early goal. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. To Hagelin. Shoots one. And it's turned aside. Calgary's got it in their own end, driving toward the neutral zone. Directing that one to Hamilton. Slid to Monaghan. Two players slant to the boards. That's going to take the intensity of this game to another level. Pitching this one to Kessel. Mark Giordano has it there. All-star game at age 31. He knifed it away. Carries it to the corner. With a drive. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Oh, the goalie was screened on that shot. You got to rely on your positioning to make that save. Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Kunitz. He scores! knew he was in a prime scoring area, so he went to the wrist shot and scored. Johnson's trying to cover the bottom of the net, but the puck beats him anyway. Just over five minutes have been skated here in the first. Pittsburgh's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. It's a pair of goals. Fires nearly grazed the iron on that. Gathered in by Russell. Oh, my! They're not going to let him get away with that dirty hit. They have decided it's going to happen. This will absolutely energize this great crowd. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. They used their fists and got a fistful. Five each for fighting. Spirited tilt. Guys going toe-to-toe -to -toe for quite some time. Well, the home team just rolling right over top of the visitors. The crowd is all over them right now. Defensive zone win. Brower's got this one between the blue lines. Good job with the poke check. Pass attempt to Hagelin. The Flames have left the defensive zone. They battle on up the wing. Slides it to the point to Versteeg. Chip to Crosby. Hammer. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Looking to Backlund. Blocked away. Picked up by Crosby. 
Puck settled down by Hagelin. And he gains the zone. The Flames are lugging it back through the defensive end. Curls on back and readies an attack. Gets across, looks over his options. Let's it go. Didn't miss by much. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Fires! Outstanding glove save. The Flames leave their own end. Picked up in the attacking zone. Passing one off now to Malkin. Propelled to Stajan. Pointed to Hamilton. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Shoots. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. We shook him loose. Nice fake by Hornquist. Moving it to Bowling. Back in his defensive end to get it. Pitching it to Malkin. On to Sheary. Blockered away. One timer and a save. Difficult spot for him there. And the arm of the referee comes up. A penalty. Nearing the final minute of play. That shot came from nowhere. The Penguins will get a two-minute penalty for elbowing. More times than not, Doc, when you lead with your elbow, you're going to get a penalty. Calgary's opportunity on the power play is their first of this game. Let's see how they do. The Flames win the draw. Laid on to Brody. That hit somebody. Last minute of play in the puck picked up here. A shot. Score! And it's a one goal game. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting aid the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Pittsburgh's got that neutral zone faceoff. Six didn't get through. Let's it go. Hot right over him and couldn't get it past. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Fires. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. The Penguins are up by a goal. Let's check out the shots on goal in that opening period. Nine for Pittsburgh and six for the Flames. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining. The Penguins have the lead, and with goaltending like this, they might just keep it. But we'll have to see after we go to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Calgary's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. Pass cut. Calgary's getting to the neutral zone. Gets in. What'll he do? He is shut right off. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Pittsburgh's continuing to probe up the wing. Fires a shot. Save! Now it's directed to Goudreau. Oh, and he is drilled. Well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a pretty solid contact. Two guys together with force. Big force. Oh, that was a dangerous hit. Now he's going to have to answer to somebody with that hit. The gloves are down. They're ready to fight.
give him the win on that punch. No defense in that one, guys. Wow, they traded punches for a long time. That's a good scrap. Much safer up here with you, Doc, in the booth. Five minutes for fighting for those guys. Just over three minutes played. Second. Pittsburgh's up by the narrowest of margins, two to one. Solid clean win. Two sticks together, they cancel. Slid to Hamilton. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. And the loose puck captured by Hornquist. That hits somebody. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Drill. Not there. Oh, that shot had a lot of steam on it. That just missed wider than that. Can he clear? Pretty simple here. Hard work by the Penguins. Blocked. Recollected. Hamilton's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Oh, what a stop. Loose, but he froze it. Stoppage of play. Daly's a wrecking ball on skates. He finishes everything at both ends of the ice. As a result, he is among the very top of the league in the number of hits delivered. Nice face-off work. The Penguins control the play through the neutral zone. He's got that point pass. Chip to Boma. Snapping a pass to Backlund. A shot. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. What a hit. Oh, that net. And for sure, the task is taken here. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. is over with one last bombastic punch. Thought it was going to be over a little bit earlier than that, Doc. This fight's mercifully ended for the visitors. The home crowd is ecstatic. They're making all kinds of noise. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. Trying to go to fair. Directing that one to Bonino. Dances! Say! Ooh, it lay there, but he got the whistle and stoppage of play. They have sold out every game lately, and he has to help the players, right? Uh, they do, Doc, until there aren't fannies in the seats, and that's when you really appreciate the great support in having all the sun. Oh, deflected away. Dumped in to chase on. Got in the way of that one, too. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Got to clear it. Pitching this one to Crosby. Puck is thrown to Hagelin. That one comes back out over the blue line. And the coach pacing the bench is pacing a little faster now, and he seems to be talking to the ceiling. Pass attempt to Fairland. Into the end of attack. Taken over again. Latang slashed on the play, and there will be a penalty. Long lead pass to Crosby. Oh, and he's hammered. Whoa, pick yourself up off the route when that is a big hit. Calgary's got a two-minute slashing penalty. 
He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. The Penguins go on the power play for the first time. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Pittsburgh's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Got it in his own end. Looking to Latang. That pass is cut. Passing one off now to Stajan. The Penguins will play it from their own end on this power play. Got to clear it here. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. Offside stops the clock. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Pittsburgh's taken a real physical tact to this game. They've been up offensively with the body. They've opened up lanes and then got the puck to the front of the net as a result of their physical play. Well, you're right. This has been a hammering game by the team that's in the lead, Ray. Calgary's got that one. Now what? The Flames with a big penalty kill. We're back at full strength. Oh, and he misses. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. They score! <laughs> Goalies hate getting beaten up over the glove side. They think they're in position, and they feel that they can catch just about anything. Not this time. Pittsburgh's got a two-goal lead. Good time to have it. Late in the second period. What will they do next? What will be their mode of attack? The Penguins from the neutral zone start to work. Got a piece of it with the glove. to Daly. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Propel to Bennett. Enormous collision. Well, he thought he was going to escape there. He got knocked on his backside pretty solidly. Crosby's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Clean win on the draw. Moving it to Fair. Gains the zone. Into the left. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Taken to the corner by Brown. Kicked out of the scrum. They clear it back out, and that should be enough. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Shots on goal can be deceptive. You decide whether they are in this game or not. 15 for the Penguins and 9 for the Flames. Crosby's goal looks pretty big now because that lead is 2. Something to build on as the intermission has arrived. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The Flames dock trail going into this third period. They have to start converting some of those chances that they've had. The time of possession has been in their favor, but they're still down. Knocked right off the stick. The Penguins look to make a difference up the wing. Carries it up the wing. And possession once again by Crosby. Pitching it to Kessel. Oh, that's a nice cut pass. Let's see what happens. Not a free puck now. And now it's directed to Crosby. Into the attacking end. Walking a thin line near the border there. Terrific pass save. Oh, that was a great chance. Oh, great cut. Haglund's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Seeks the corner. Good shooting place. The battle for the puck, and he can't get free. Snapping a pass to Versteeg. That 
that one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. And it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew. Rinkside, here's Ray Ferraro. Calgary's going to rue these missed chances. They've had so many from good spots on the ice. They've missed the net so many times. They've done nothing but hurt themselves. Ray, I don't know if you believe in omens or not. One side says, well, it's got to change sometime, and another says, maybe not tonight. The Flames, with a face-off win, gains the zone. Hammers one. Quickly out for a shot wide. Chance after chance, another missed opportunity. Piece of it, rebound. Loose puck gathered by Kunitz. What a terrific save. Carried from the defensive zone. And he is reefed. You got to keep your head up there. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they? Versteeg's got no weight on his one leg as he limps his way back to the bench after that huge hit. Stays on side to the middle. No completion on that pass thanks to the stick. The Penguins have control of the puck in their own end. Backhander to the net. Kicked away. And the puck taken over by Hamilton. Trying to go to Monaghan. Directing that one to Froley. Perfect tip by the stick. Pitching this one to Fair. Controlled through the middle. Puck is thrown to Froley. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. And he drops back to get things set again. Mashed in. Enormous hit. Back near the blue line to Giordano. The Penguins in their own end lug that puck along. Snaps a shot. Oh, a save. Carried toward the neutral zone. The Flames want to generate something up the wing. He gains the zone. Terrific glove save. Gets play stopped. For Steve's injuries, a result of this huge hit. Little under six minutes remaining. The Penguins with an edge, three to one. Good job on the draw. To Versteeg. From the outside, they score! It's only a one goal game now. Brower's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Enzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quickly. The Flames are now back to within one with the scoring of that goal. And there's plenty of time for one more goal in the third. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. A ripper from the point. And by number six. Shoots one. To the slot. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Let's it go. And the save there. Score! They've scrapped back to tie and still a little time left. When you're thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. The energy on the bench here, Eddie, has been growing as this comeback has ensued. What a great finish to tie this game up. Pittsburgh's got it off the draw at center. It's an onside play. Very effective defensive play. He got plastered on the boards there. That's a stop sign right there. Pittsburgh's trying to pry it free along the boards. Shoots one. He's held up against the boards. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. A long game, and the clock bleeds down to the final minute of regulation. Zone to zone to Bowman. Let's it go. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. 
Great glove save. Lugged out of the defensive zone. Calgary's carrying it up the wing. Has that pass off the boards. On to Hagelin. The Flames wheel one ahead up the wing. Laid on to Bowman. Off the mark. After he missed that chance, I looked over at the bench and the look on the players' faces were priceless. A great wrist shot. He got his pad on it. A cover and play is stopped. Pittsburgh's been an offensive juggernaut led by this player who has among the highest points totals in the league. He's a dangerous player, remarkably skilled on the power play. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? Slid to Brower. Gathered up by Bennett. Calgary's goal has forced the overtime period. Take a look at it one more time. Who will get the next one? We'll find out when overtime begins in a moment. We have begun sudden death overtime. Somebody who has been on the ice tonight will leave the ice a hero. One into another. I saw him coming just at the last minute. He's able to spin off, but that's a big hit. Pass attempt to Monaghan. He's in on an onside play. One-timer. Gave him a good shot, but a great pad answer there. Locked away. Chip to Monaghan. Terrific shot. Wonderful save. There are a lot of happy humans there after that spectacular stop. Up the wing, skating with it now. Let's go over his shot. Calgary's leaving its own end. Looking to Giordano. Gets in, looks over his options here. The Penguins have control of the puck through the neutral zone. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Murray's made several excellent saves. None better than that. Certainly none bigger than that one here in overtime. Got possession. And the puck is seized by Bennett. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. A penalty has been called, and the game could hinge on this. The Penguins are penalized two minutes for interference. You cannot stop his progress in this. Particular play, you have to allow him the ability to be able to move up the ice interference. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. Got his pad on that one. Clear. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Shot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Lightning like reflexes there. Great glove save. Crosby's play defensively has grown in leaps and bounds. As a result, he has among the highest plus minus totals in the league. Final minute of play in overtime. Will it end with the clock ticking, or will we go all night? Puck is grabbed by Brody. Tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Overtime period. Gains the blue line. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Taken on by Brody. Carried from the defensive zone toward center. Passing one off now to Monaghan. He can start some danger here. 
shoots one. Great stick save. Gathered up again by Hamilton. Let's it go. Club. And he holds on. Murray Stomp will extend this. It looked like we were going home with that chance. Brilliant stop. And coming up is the biggest face-off of this game. That is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. And possession re-established by Brody. And that's an offside. Pittsburgh's coaching staff's done an exceptional job this year moving the pieces of the puzzle around to get the best results. As a result of a lineup that's pretty varied, they're tough to play against, and they lead the league standings as a result. Looks ahead to start something. The Flames gliding along through the neutral zone. Johnson's save has kept his team in it. At the end of the period, intermission is next. Tenders are getting ready. The lists have been turned in. Some coaches say this is where coaching stops. And you just watch. As we will. Someone has to go first. This is the guy. What a magnificent pass save. first guy chosen, even if you're not first overall. No, he has failed. This is a chance to put his team ahead. Can he do it? Outstanding save by the goalie. Hornquist got it. He could put on a ton of pressure here. He saved the goal, and he saved his team. For the goaltender, it's all about gauging the speed of the shooter, and he answered the bell. All goalies so far. Will it continue? Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. This is the shot that can be the winner. He scores! He's won the game! The shootout's over! Calgary's failed yet again to win a shootout. Take for them, you get a point in losing in a shootout. A terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.